I'll miss you, man, for us all! Here on my back porch, I am growing velvet beans, Mucuna prurians. They're also called madness bean because uh, apparently the wild versions of them have hairs all over, which will uh, sting and itch like crazy. These itch a little bit if you get them on you, but they're not that big a deal. The velvet bean is a really good nitrogen fixer and green fodder crop. The beans are actually slightly toxic. They've got some alkaloids in them that make them uh, not exactly totally safe. However, they also have dopamine precursors. That means they taste so good, they make you really happy, and you'll swear even before you eat them because they're amazing. Yeah, get it, precursors. All right, now. Um, dopamine precursors, which means they are a mood enhancer. They also have testosterone boosting abilities and are very good for bodybuilders and for gaining that extra yeah. So that's, that's the velvet bean. I'm going to show you inside now how I cook them and then I add the beans to smoothies for breakfast after I cook them. All right, here I have a pot of velvet beans on the stove. I boil them when they're green like this in the pods, and if you put enough salt in the water, they actually taste just like boiled green peanuts. They're delicious, but again, I don't recommend eating more than four or five beans at a time, and uh, you know, I just cook them until they're kind of soft, give them like 10 minutes or so. And then just throw a few beans in your smoothie for breakfast and uh, you'll have more testosterone than you know what to do with. And you'll feel awesome. 